go ahead and click on structure and views and let's update quickly our upcoming events view click edit and click on event logo please and change the image style to our upcoming events image style click apply scroll down to see what you just did and you should see now your logos are all uniform go ahead and click Save and take a look at your view in real life and there it is so this is what image styles does in the next section let's go ahead and create a new view as a grid layout for all of our events once again structure views and add new view please we'll call this photo gallery once again content of type events now this particular view could be used for a photo of the day kind of thing or a gallery of images from an event views can do all of this kind of thing really really well again we're just sticking with one content type because that's what we've got click create a page and this is going to be a grid of fields now once again in your grids you can put teasers posts titles that are titles that are linked or fields we'll stick with fields and we'll choose nine so we can have a three by three grid here let's create a menu link as well and once again put it in the main menu scroll down and click Save and Edit so let's answer our five questions the display is a page the format is a grid we have one field the title field we will need more the filter and the sort well we can choose what we want to do with those the filter is probably fine the sort we can sort any way we want scrolling down you'll see we have four columns and nine events first off let's change the number of columns on the format line click on settings for the grid and change the number of columns to three and click apply that should give us a three by three grid and it does pretty simple from here on the word fields click add find the event logo put a check mark in it and click apply this time let's choose our photo gallery of logos image style and link the image to the content and click apply so you'll see immediately a grid layout differs from a table in that all of the fields that you choose from a node are in one cell and we can tell it how many cells across we want you know thinking about this this might be a little bit big when we look at it let's go ahead and click Save and go back to our site and click on photo gallery and actually that's not bad what happens when we're looking at this on a mobile device as you can see from the mobile view the gallery is nicely formatted all of the images are responsive and so on a small device they all shrink down to maintain that 3x3 grid and that's something that Drupal does for you out of the box so that's all it takes to make a photo gallery in views in Drupal